always go up to my level to keep it hopefully a bit challenging. New subscriber! Phoenix, thank you for the sub! Thank you, Secret Asian Man, for the 30-month resub as well. I mean, the gift, the gift sub. 30 gift subs. Ancient Training Hall. I'll take care of Music seems quite loud. Let's go twenty percent. I'll handle. Whoever was in here left in the middle of drinking their tea. Scroll note: Take this coin out of the Juana Village and see if you can round up anyone willing to do a week's digging for pay. Try the low cast types first. They were Paru. They're they're used to hard work and they did not don't ask for more than their share. Lowest class of wanted society where power doesn't need to work unskilled laborers and to starve in times of scarcity. Status is a function of survival in the often unforgiving dead fire, not a moral judgment. The red power are destined to be reborn into the Karauf or the mortal class in their next lives. Uh, and a dagger. Plus five accuracy. I'm here. I shall. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, there are several rooms to explore here. I'll, I'm afraid not. Let me grab the gold from the b bodies. I don't see any spirits hanging around here. Well, I guess all the spirits have been sapped away. I'll handle this. Rice. Take the rice. Barrels explode in this? No, okay. Water. Hackfish. Salt. I was where there's like Diablo or, or other extra views where they would like explode on me. Or POE actually. Path of Exile. Three guys versus one barrel, I know. Let's go fast mode for this. Uh-oh. Panthers. Okay. Onward. Go ahead and buff us. On the edge. I got it. Uh oh, ma'am, why are you here? Uh oh, you are not supposed to be here. Go ahead and blighting strike. Go ahead and hit him. Okay, you stay over there. Okay, now. It's not gonna hit very many. So let's try out. At least hit a couple that way. Moe, 
Get him. Oh, he started taking a little bit of damage. It's okay. All right, let's see. Go ahead and escape over there. Okay, uh, Edder needs a heal. Heal, Edder. Engage that one. You flank that one. You don't have any spells left, do you? Um... Create the enemy in the name of God. If the enemy is bloody or near death, they will receive safe more damage from blessed harvest. That hits pretty decently. Go ahead and give her a heal. I got it. Go ahead, hit that one. You hit that one. You should switch to crossbow, honestly. Can't switch a cop, apparently. He's trying to get a little injured. Well, where are you going? Come back. Recharge yourself and use the spells back. Go ahead and try another zippity zap of those. Okay, you he needs a heal, so give him a bit of a heal. Okay, go ahead and lay on hands with him quickly. Do you for some tough panthers? All right. Yeah, to be a panther and being able to like absorb whole swings of a mace and a sword and stuff. Holy crap! You got to be strong. I'm here. I what are they doing? Just chilling though. Just hanging out. I'll take care of this. Half the dam has not been too difficult so far. I'll have this. <laughs> it almost feels like normal difficulty. Indeed. Yes? We just gotta like make sure that you're not stupid. Don't make don't leave your flank open. Move your healer out of the way. Make sure you use healing spells. Deflection is a defense stat. Alright, uh... Well, let's not open that yet. It looks like something... Story... Actually, we got all these corners over there. Hold on, chat. Be right back in one second.
All right. Let's see what's behind door number one, this electrified door here. Several men and women appear to be locked inside a cage of some kind, of little more than silhouettes behind a glass, pointing and gesturing excitedly. You out there? Are the beasts gone? I took care of the creatures. The woman turns away and have a muffled exchange with the others. Then she pulls something by the door and you hear a rattling clank. Perfecto. We are saved. Youngest man with bright eyes and twitchy smile claps on his hands in joy as he steps out of the cage. The woman next to him, however, remains sober. Me and the Watcher? We're always happy to help. Governor Claudio must have sent you to rescue us, no? But you do not look like one of his guards. She rises onto the balls of her master of her feet and peers behind you as if searching for someone else. She looks only midway into her thirties, though a serious set of her mouth makes her seem older. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. An old woman hawks an impressive glob of phlegm under the ground and heeks a clump of dirt over it. I told you the governor does not care about us. This is all about profit for him and the rest of the Valian. Caloste. She turns to you with a resign resigned breath. You are here, and that is what matters. Where is Odorisi? They already managed to look at one another. He is still in the ruins, we think. What happened? We were taking measurements of the luminous Adra when something strange began happening. We were ta taking measurements of the luminous Adra when something strange began happening. Fascinating. The pillar started to dim, the ground shook, and our instruments showed unusual variations. That's when those of us with a grain of sense got into the cage. She glares at the excited young man, but does, he doesn't seem to notice. What happened then? The Colossus. Some kind of construct made from luminous Adra. It passed through the arena toward the pillar. Vanessa closes her eyes. Moments later, the pillar went dark, and all of our colleagues outside the cage froze, like they turned to ash. She goes quiet, her hands clasped in front of her. The young man leans forward, her eyes wide open in a first kind of excitement. That is when the panthers and worms showed up, started going through the tents. It was awful, but Engfeth... Benazza shoots a furious look and he falls silent again. Confused, slightly injured expression crinkles his face. Some of our people are still missing in the ruins, including Odorisi, our lead researcher. It is possible he managed to hide. Her uh, frowned brow, however, suggests otherwise. I should go look. Most of the ruins are that way, through the door next to the ramp. If you are going below, you should take Engfert with you. Hey, he looks just like... Edder cuts himself off for other reasons. Janet apparently's jaw hangs slack. A sharp-featured elf comes to the fore and meets your eyes. He gives you... He gives you a knowing nod. He's earned a few new scars. You recognize Aloth... Corfisser. <laughs> All the same... He taps a finger to his lips and a sly smile working its way across them. That is a name. Engfirth knows a great many spells. At first, he even cast fire to chase away the panthers. Until the flames nearly caught one of the tents. Oh? We then decided it would be better to preserve our remaining supplies. 
in case we ever got out. And when the supplies ran out? That was a good way and avoid further speculation. I do not expect the ruins will be any safer. Many of our people remained behind, which has surely attracted more wildlife. It would be prudent to take help, as long as Angfirth is willing to go. I would be happy to assist. He holds your gaze with wide, expectant eyes. What else can you tell me about Angerfirth? I don't think that's really... He has only been with us a few weeks. He is inexperienced, but he came with a glowing recommendation from an academy in Selona. That is surely a generous overstatement. Alof chuckles uncomfortably and gives you a meaningful look. Glowing recommendation, you say? Surely we don't have time for... A pupil of unnatural talent is the phrase I recall. It seems he was loved and regarded by almost all his instructors, though misunderstood, I gathered, by his fellow students. I cannot imagine why. Really, this helpful stranger surely has more important things to worry about. Impressive, especially since he doesn't sound Valerian. That's quite a... Students come from all over the world to study animancy in the Republics, especially since it is still forbidden in places like Adir. But Engfeth's story is especially sad. He was only a boy when both his parents died in a fire. Is it just me, or does this guy have the most creepy creep face ever? Holy crap. Look at his expression there, just... I'll babysit your kids. He came to the Deerwood and lived at the manor of a wealthy older uncle until he also died. In a fire. If that's all, then perhaps we should be off. What else can you tell me about Inger for... Th I don't think that's really... He has only been with us a few weeks. He is inexperienced, but he came with a glowing recommendation from an academy in Selona. That is surely a generous overstatement. Glowing surely recommendation. We don't have time. A pupil, it seems. I cannot. Really, this helpful stranger. That's stupid. But it came in a. If uh, I don't. He has. A oh, it's like that's. It glitches. It came in a. If that's it looked all, like it was an option that wasn't we chosen yet. Your Ingrith isn't an. I'll gladly accept his help. He gives you a quick smile. Be careful, I'm Miko. I shall try. Thank you for your discretion. I'm certain you have many questions, but I fear they must wait until we're off this island. At least tell me what you're doing here. That's a rather long story. The short version, for now, is that I'm gathering information on local animancy operations. He looks you up and down. But I could ask you the same. Eothis destroyed my keep, killed most of the people there, nearly killed me. He'll answer for it. Well, there's never a dull moment with you. We can speak more freely once we're away from Port Marge. For now, let us find Odorisi.
Hmm. Wizard, Battle Mage, Spellblade. I don't I think I want a pure wizard. All right, so let's level him up. Let's see. I got a five on history. Metaphysics. Deal with Animancy, Adra, the wheel, and in between. Well, I guess we'll get him that. High level of scrolls. Explosive seems kind of meh. Give him the arcana. Ah, spells. Let's see. Dazzling light. Fan of Flames. Black Supers, Corona Fire, causing bird damage. Anyone in the area of effect? Be hard to cast. Wizards double, plus 40 de deflection. So he or she is successfully hit. It's a good defensive spell, just in case. We get. We get minor missiles. Multiple spell missiles with a batter target inflicting crush or corrode damage. <laughs> Jolting touch. Touch spells suck. For a wizard, you don't want to get in melee with a, as a wizard. Uh, quick thrust, magic force, doing uh, damage capable, of piercing the veil. Cannot this attack cannot miss and will reliably interrupt. Hmm. Additional weapon set as a mage, wizard. I mean, chill fog. Calls a blinding white frost in existence, causing blindness and freeze damage over time. Anyone in the area of effect. 2.5 radius. I think I'll go over Chill Fog. Or what about Slicken? Uh, coats the ground in a slick, oil like substance causing proning one in the air effect for 12 seconds. Chill Fog lasts for 15 seconds. Let's go for Chill Fog. Next level up, let's go Arcana again. Mm -hmm. Uh, Metaphysics, sure. Infuse with Vital Essence, infuse the caster with Vitality, grant them fit and smarter. One-handed style, two-handed style, weapon and shield, two-weapon style. Curse of Black and Sight. Shrouds the target's vision in total darkness. Miasma of dull-mindedness. Heavy fog. Slows in the minds of those in the area of effect. Flicks penalties, perception, elect, and resolve. Mirrored image. Duplicate of caster distract enemies, granting high deflection bonus. To reduce with each uh, hit taken. Bizarre spectacle causing confusing enemies in the area of effect. That sounds like a good CC spell. Allow the words smashing me with a grimoire energized with the arcane energy causing large damage to and target back. Combusting wounds. Uh, co 
causes enemy wounds in the area to effect to ignite. Inflict additional burn damage over time for each each time they receive damage. That one sounds good. I know I turned those off, Fortunio, on purpose to make it more immersive. Either way, the target spirit causing corrosive damage and converting uh, that essence to health for the caster. Ooh. Like a lifesteal. Ray of fire. Create a scorching beam of flame between the caster and the target. Continually causing bird damage to the target. Anyone caught in the, in the ray. Rolling flame. Creates a rebounding ball of fire, flicking bird damage anyone in its path and knocking them prone. Creates a mystical shield around the caster, infusing them with bonuses to freeze, corrode. Yeah, it's like I want one of the fire spells. Rolling flame sounds cool. Ray of fire. Five to nine damage a tick. 25 to 30 and knocks him prone. Uh, we'll try out rolling flame, see what it does. Oh, wait. What is his level up? Hold on. Aloth, what are, what are your stats? Oh, he has very low might. I better make him a CC caster, not a damage caster. This is damage is quite low. He's got to be a CC caster. Physics. All right, let's do let's do crowd control stuff. Uh, the caster becomes able to see enemy's weakness, causing them to critically hit. Mobilized for six seconds in a web. Fetid caressed. Target becomes paralyzed and afflicted with boiling pustules uh, that erupt from the skin, sickening all nearby. Hmm. That's pretty good. Necrotic Lance, Crow Damage, eh, that one's okay. Confuse, attacks 
hit friendly and hostile creatures. Wildering Spectacle. 10 meter range. Confusing some people might be good. They would attack each other for a little while. Confusion is usually good in a cluster of enemies. I think I do want mirror image as a defensive thing. Uh, shrouds of targets and vision of darkness blinding. New them. subscriber. Twenty. I can blind a whole group of people for twenty seconds. We'll do that. Curse of blackened sight and mirror image. Get the level again. <laughs> Let's go metaphysics. We'll go bewildering spectacle as a as a CC ability too. Spirit Shield. Increases armored and concentration. Uh, Bordering Spectacle will confuse enemies, cause them to attack each other. Rolling Flame can knock people prone, which might be alright. It does decent damage. Even without might, it does decent damage. Um, I'll try fetid. I'll do fetid. Uh, now let's do confuse. Paralyze. And knock someone out for 10 seconds. Paralyze them. Or confuse a bunch for 15. I'm gonna go confusion. Oh, and then you can learn how to use wands. Perfect. I don't have anyone to give you. Oh, you have you have a scepter with you. I shall. Yes? Hopefully I can give him some more might. I feel like he needs some more might. Be careful. The tunnels below may have collapsed. I know, I know. Let's try the ancient training hall first. Yeah, the gameplay is much improved, combat and everything. Over the first game. They've taken a lot of the tediousness away from the combat and stuff. Made it way more modern. I'll take care of it. The training dummy has long since been frozen to uh into mobility of it. Uh -oh. uh oh. The game froze. 
Oh, well, there it goes. Oh, well. Yes? Charge! Hold on. Let's reload that. <laughs> the game went. What do you need? Let's have Keep you stealth down. ahead. Just cuz. Subscriber. Editor's a rogue now. You can make him a rogue. Uh, you can make him a rogue warrior if you want. A multi class. I think those pressure. We gotta watch out for those pressure plates. I'm here. Of course. I shall. Onward! You go ahead and heal. Actually, those are undead. They might take injury from this, so heal that area. Aloth, go ahead and oh, he got rolling flame and combusting wounds automatically, didn't he? Oh. Oh, perfect. Let's try again. <laughs> Damn the lad's aim. Those are on his book. Oh, a grimoire. Wait, you get free spells? The, so does a grimoire just add free, add spells in addition to what you already know? Okay. Yeah, that did like no, he did like no damage to them at all. Not even kind of. You go ahead and you go ahead and buff everyone with accuracy. Add spells sometimes has magical properties. Cool. them and heal whoa what was that freaking lightning bolt out of nowhere heal yourself there's a sorcerer uh oh get the sorcerer down okay uh oh whoops heal Get the sorcerer down. You need spells back. Get your spells back. You. But just a little bit more. Hmm? Okay. Sworn enemy, this guy. You need to... Fusion won't really help much. Go ahead and blind... These guys. If you can. 
Good, they're blinded. You need a ranged weapon. You are no help right here now, right now, lady. Go ahead, heal again. Hopping enemy successfully. Blink strike. Holy shit. That's fine. <laughs> well, he went down real fast. Out of spells, so you're useless. Uh -huh. Okay, he should be out of spells over there. You keep attacking him. Go ahead and heal yourself. Work. Keep attacking. Uh -uh. Didn't work. I know, baby. Come on. Uh, if, notice you completely failing? No, I noticed that. Okay, everyone get the caster down. Luckily, Edder ate all, all the caster's spells. But heal me. Indeed. You're getting wrecked, lady. Um, heal her. He's wearing a robe. Just kill the man. Jesus. There you go. Jesus. Oh, crap. Just some regular swords. I'll take care of this. Skeletal Grimoire. Two wands and a vessel bone. Chill fog, spirit shield. Merciless gaze, miasma of dullness. Hmm. Well, I'll give this to our wizard. No one else needs it. Yes, indeed. Are we in combat again? Oh, right there. Hit him. Attack. Aloth, go ahead and back up. Go ahead and bless us. Edder, move behind. <laughs> you need to heal yourself. That caster needs to go down. Uh, move. He might not be able to hit you if you're over here. <laughs> Him. Get him retreat. Onward. Ha. Indeed. Go ahead and heal from your bag. You go ahead and get everyone a big heal. All right. Uh. Uh, 
Uh, this is the hardest mode. Okay, go ahead and flame him again. a bump on a pickle <laughs> <laughs> what work be on sink. a bump on a pickle I don't see why not go ahead and blinding strike on him uh, -uh. didn't work Okay, you need to heal her. I'm here. Hmm? Okay, of course. Let's wrap around. Yeah? Apparently this guy just like gave up, doesn't know what to do. Wait, look there. Would you look at that? Alright, go ahead and go up there and attack, attack. him. Right on target. Okay, go ahead and fly strike. Go ahead and burst him. You need to heal everybody quickly. hear you all right we need to rest because he's got injuries all right what buffs do we have increased healing received plus might intellect constitution minus dexterity plus all defenses plus all two skills plus max health the kappa leaf Constitution and Might. It's actually very good. That's you. You. You could use Constitution and Might. Rest. Never had some Kappa Leaf before? Need to keep Let's looking. Let's take a look. Sorry, I'm that trap you can. Okay, let's go back and have you disarm the other traps over here. Keep it down. Disarm. Hit that one. Disarm that trap. Getting good experience of doing this. That one. Yeah, this is like the first dungeon dungeon area, I would say. There's been many dungeons, like the caves and stuff. This is like the first, like, feels like a big dungeon. We're currently in the training, the training area. It's an abandoned uh, arena place. What if he fails? Probably die again. Ooh, gauntlets of accuracy. Accuracy is 36, 41. Your accuracy is 27. Seems kind of way lower compared to everyone else's. Jesus. My accuracy is way low. and give this to you and I'll take I'll put the accuracy gloves on me because I get all the good stuff and you don't hmm let's see I picked up the didn't I where did it 
Oh, I have this. Okay, that's why. It's like, where? I don't see them. I'm actually so low, mm -hmm. I'm like almost never hitting out on the paladin. Ooh, fine hunting bow. Range weapon. Can you use a blinding strike on a ranged weapon? Look at the wizard's health, lol. Oh, 69. Yeah, we need to switch you out to using a crossbow, lady. All right, let's see. Yeah? Might be better if he goes in, into range. Maybe he'll die less, because right now he's dying a lot. He's getting destroyed hmm? in melee. Of course. Remember that being a problem in the first game, that melee classes died a lot. Would you look at that? A lot. again. Do you know how D&D works to have fun with this game? Oh, do you, do you need to know? No, this isn't D&D. Uh, the, their battle system is a unique battle system. It's not D&D based, but it's it's got some names of abilities from D&D. I got it. Like some spells are D and D names, but they they don't they work differently, like preparing spells and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, that order is too tall. A deserted cat. Aww. Gosha. Gosha plus one perception grants party wide effect. Oh, I have a kitty cat pet. Uh, that's cool. The the pets actually give you a, a party wide bonus. Hmm. Of course. Your daggers do what? Fine. Plus fifteen percent damage, accuracy, penetration. I'll have you try doing. I'm looking skater. Have I hit been hitting the gym? No. I've eaten more food. I don't know if that counts. Oh, he has really high cost. Can I? Is it possible to respect the stats of a party member? His stats are all over the place.
His stats don't work very well as a rogue. His accuracy and constitution are really hot. I hate that they make you pick the class without seeing... Um... Like, you, like when you tell them, when they ask you to pick a, a class, but when you start the game, like you don't know what their stats are. His stats are so are not really good for um, a rogue. Doesn't have enough dexterity or perception. Hey. Uh -huh. You can respect uh, a class, a character's uh, abilities, but not their class. And I wish I could repick his, his uh, starting class. Uh -huh. Let's see, we have... Wait, look there. A cave beetle? Uh -oh. A gate? Well, it's just hey. one beetle. How hard could it be? I'm on it. Go behind him. Yes? There's not, there's more than one. Uh oh, okay. Back up. Indeed. Okay, go ahead and. Did that even touch him? What the? Did, did, did. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Okay, everyone hit that one. You Help Sorry, finish that one off. I can't. Yeah. Move around. Move around. He's tanking that thing over there. Yes? You got this. You can kill that beetle by yourself. No, I can't. He can't. He sucks. Go ahead and blind him. He's blinded, which will help. Now hit him. Everyone go hit him. He's blind. <laughs> He's like, damn blind. I don't know what to do. I'm here. Larva. Let's 
Let's see what's in here. A pistol. Champion's medallion. Small Adria disc was worn as a medallion. One small side of this triumph. Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Doesn't do anything. Note to foreman. One of the workers dug up this uh, old Adria medallion in the sub level yesterday. I doubt Odyssey would be interested in it. Besides, looks like it's worth something. Might be nice to surprise the crew with a bonus. And a rock. Less damage taken, less dexterity. Indeed. Yes? Oh. Dan hitting blind people? A beetle is not a people. A beetle is a beetle. Beetle ain't people. Don't worry. Beetle lives yes, don't matter. Of course. Hey. Where? Let's check his. Is there a plate way to see the ability trees from right now? Rogue aggressive. Rogue, cautious. Wizard, cautious. Priest, cautious. Paladin, aggressive. Yeah? Of course. You shouldn't keep the cats. Cats are assholes. Only if you get an asshole cat. There's some really nice cats out there. Some cats are super, super nice and chill and just want to be loved by you and love on you. You just got to make sure you get a non-asshole cat. Dogs tend to be a little more across the board uh, nice, but... Catch you gotta like get a good personality. Yeah, a lot of people are getting random bugs in their games with this game where one bug will affect one person but not another. I think my paladin has a bug where sworn enemy showing twice for some reason. I don't know why. It's just it won't go away. Yes? Indeed. Thank you, Valentin. I'm streaming right now, so I'll check it out later. The copper bowl is tarnished to dull blue-green. Grime and dust coat the surface of thin film. Found the bowl is a shallow, circular depression. You recognize the bolt offering bowl, an artifact found in many Inguithian ruins. It would have been intended for use only by Inguithians who held high rank or has made some great achievement. In an arena such as this, a champion might fulfill that role. Place the champion down into the depression. Ooh, secret passage. Uh, my damage as the paladin is very low. Because he's very tank spec. Poor fools. They were unprepared for this. Yes? Do we have a good sword? Let's go with the regular sword. Fighting close quarters using your blade to penetrate more armor, but the cost of lower deflection. I'm here, of course. I'm here, of course. Alright, let's check out the gunpowder pry bar. Uh solution. Now I just need a problem, and we're set. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, no 
don't see Let's take a look. All right, go scout ahead. I don't know what the hell's in there. Big circular room, probably enemies. His perception's also really low. God, I wish I could respect him. This looks like some sort of elaborate puzzle. Okay, I think it's safe over here. Up on that yet. Okay, go back up. Yeah? Uh, you oh. can respect your characters at the end, but not their class or their stats, just their abilities. Careful. Oh, Will the Wisp. You would think those creatures wouldn't be that bad, but usually Will the Wisp can be quite powerful in these games. And Sporling. Onward. Okay, go ahead and confuse them. You go ahead and buff everyone's accuracy. No rush. But if you have any Okay, he's currently cursed. No Tandy. Go ahead and area effect that place right there. Hit Attack. that. Go ahead and heal. Much obliged. Quickly. Everyone attack that one. Okay, you're going to have to do that on him again. Go ahead and shield him. That's not very helpful. Charge. Okay, you're gonna need to shocking grasp that That's guy. That's not very helpful. Could use something to put a little pants This is futile. Down. Of course, I cannot whack him any other. Okay. Uh, empower yourself to refill half your power can be used uh, on each character once per encounter and restored on rest. Oh, rest. Oh shit. Rose is per room. All right, go ahead and finish him off, hopefully. I'm fixing to be sick. This is futile. Finish him, please. Gang up. Gang up. Let's try it out. Gang up. Use something to put a little path in my step. Right, go ahead and heal your heal. Everyone over here. That heals damn near instant, which is nice. Whew. What can I do you for? Yeah, her uh, blessed harvest is pretty good. Happy to oblige. Dim in the lantern. Dim in the lantern. Yeah. Uh huh. I'll have Looks like more money. Uh oh. Get the will the wisp. Everyone else, move back. How to move up? 
engage. Onward. What can I do you for? Twenty-eight, not bad. Try doing a damage spell. Lavru, be on seek. You do a damage spell as well. Never you mind that miss. I'll land the next one. You oh. missed with a spell? Of course. <laughs> it sucks that you like cast a spell, waste the spell slot, and then boom, nothing happens. It's like, come on. Come on. Yes? Indeed. Come on. I'll take care of it. With a melee weapon, you can re swing, but a spell slot's gone forever. Alright, let's see what's down yeah. this way. Go ahead and stealth. Yeah, the, this, the, these games were inspired heavily by ahead. Infinity Engine games. So we have two brine imps. Two daggers, maybe that's better. Or two swords. I'm here, I shall. Trouble up ahead. All right, go in and attack. attack. Hmm? Gunpowder barrel. doesn't ignite the, the gunpowder on the ground. Oh, come on. My perfect plan is ruined. <laughs> Ow. Heal. Aloth. You might be able to hit the gunpowder. Uh-oh. Indeed. You're gonna have to get real close, though. Off Hit him up. Yes! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, heal. Blew himself up, though. <laughs> Well, it, it, it worked, but unfortunately it worked too well. Died as he lived, sure bursting into flames, yes. Let's go ahead and heal and hit all the enemies as well. Most Some ice. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Uh sure. Okay. Target that one. That one. I was useful as a bump on a pickle. Good job. Her harvest spell is very nice. What can I do you for? You better, Aloth. Look like you went out in an explosive defeat, but it was impressive. Yeah. Uh huh. It was quite impressive. Happy to oblige. I got it. 
Uh, this is a different kind of game to Div Divinity. They're both good games in different ways. Wasn't sure about the constructs at first. These new techniques may be less extreme than those of the eccentrics like Galvano. But it gets harder to remember that once the hulking things are moving around like large new subscriber. witless dolls. Oh, Turbo, thank you for subbing Twitch Prime. Their constructs require daily maintenance and make the works workers uncomfortable. Still, they've been quite an effective deterrent to the local wildlife. Have to admit, I started to feel safer with one of them standing nearby while I work. Other side despises these things and avoids them if possible. That alone is a considerable benefit. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah? Yeah, bro. Less dexterity and minus burn armor rating. Well, don't see why not. It's not that bad, honestly. Oh, the other end of this passage now. Cool. I love that her, uh... Her lantern actually lights up the area around her. It's a nice little touch. I like both, Cabra. Uh, Rapier. All right, but I'm keeping what's in it. Well done. You don't get to keep what's in it, we share it. Copper pile, pry bar, fine dagger. Ooh, that's an upgrade for you. Very nice. Get that fine dagger, looking fine. Mm. Mm. What do you need? Horse. Did I know about the scavenger hunt for this game? Yeah, the, the item that gives you cheats. Anything that gives you stuff in the game without you having to play the game is cheating. Pre-order bonuses, season pass, armors, etc. Cheats, all of them. Go ahead and make a save. Just in case. I'm here. Let's take a look. Go ahead and go back to your other weapon. What can I do you for? Let's have you switch to a crossbow. Yes, of course. Happy to oblige. You go up ahead first. Nom 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 bitch. Thank you for the bits. A Siri 83. Uh oh. Uh oh. Freaking ghost. No, it's an essence anomaly. Whatever the hell that is. Jump over there. Okay, move up, guys. Uh -huh. I'll tank them. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, back up a little bit. Okay. You move over here. Target that one. You target that one. You both target that one. Okay, honey babe, you need to bless us. Aloth, you need to... Bewildering spec. That's a very low chance to hit those two. Same with that one. Looks like they're weak to fire, so go ahead and move right there. Of course. And then go ahead and put a fireball right up their cahoosets right there. Hurt. Am I immobilized? Can't seem to move. Okay. Heal everyone quickly. No, move up. Heal everyone. Heal yourself. Go ahead and crippling strike on that one. Aloth, you need to make them stop chasing you or something. Good flame breath. Everyone gang up on this one. You should go ahead and flame breath right there. 
You attack that one. You move over here. Attack that one. Right. Finish it. Are you gonna finish your cast or not? No? Please. Flame breath or whatever that spell's called. Okay, now you, you need to save him. He's gonna die if you don't. Thank you. Let's go ahead and flame strike. Boop. Alright, uh, go ahead and heal all of us. Quickly. Flame again. Okay, get this guy down now. Uh-oh. Okay, you need to lay on hands on her. Not even close. Okay. Okay, back up. Don't let him chase you. Now melee. You move out. Alright, go ahead and heal him. Got eight. How Our party's accuracy is so bad. So bad. Indeed. Okay. Hmm? Indeed. I'll have Accuracy being a stat's always a yeah, mechanic. That's why WoW removes it. Nothing's more annoying than going. <laughs> Constantly, it's like, could you not? Potions, healing, moderate healing. It cost me cash to make that out in the here. Scrolls, healing, and support. Scroll of withdrawal. Minor Blights, Firebrand, Blade of Pure Fire. Hmm. Stun Bomb, sure. I'm here. I shall. Either might benefit from extra penetration from stilettos. Yeah, extra penetration is always New nice. New subscriber. Thank you, Aqua Reef, for the prime sub. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm not really using the drugs though. Eating drugs seems like a bad idea. Happy to oblige. Indeed. Yes. How close are we leveling? Eight thousand. I'm here. Uh, out of 10,000, 2,000 more. Definitely not leveling in this place. Get him! Oh. Ah. Go ahead and missiles. You go ahead and kaboom him. <laughs> What can I do you for? Favorite fast food you. joint? Uh, I Taco Bell. But it doesn't really matter, honestly. Happy to. All right. All fast food's kind of like, eh. All right. 
Cannon shot, torch, hard tack. Uh, ratty root. Transplant by Dorian settlers. This blooming plant now goes wild. Take all that. Mm -hmm. oh. And a mancer's hat. Just a hat. New subscriber. Thank you, Mr. Outside, for that prime. So, translated as Andra's tooth, they're large, baroque. Purals are commonly found traded by Anima. Journal entry. It's been a stroke of unimaginable fortune to find Adrivain in such pristine condition. The essence is so concentrated here that even from the far side of the corridor, the pillars of light pulses like a star. At times, I almost feel like I can sense it, like the warmth of sunlight upon the skin. We'll need to reintroduce the, reinforce the central chamber for attempting further excavations. The ruins are unstable, and Sela's motley workforce of savages and paupers grow more fearful by the day. With the assistance of a single watcher, we can trace the essence of in the primary vein and isolate the deposits worthy of extraction. I petition Director Castel of Nikitaka for such a resource, but I'm continually rebuffed. I am, it is unthinkable that the Valian Trading Company cannot isolate within vast borders of considerable influence a single suitable candidate. I assume that the wretched Elit woman is hoarding them for her fanciful experiments, transportation, as if we have the time to ex expend on such frivolities. Friv frivolities. Sure thing. I'll take care. Moss and grime have been scraped clear of large portions of the mural, uh, revealing vibrant hues of uh, Gwentian figures. Uh, Tero the Reckless defeated seven beasts barehanded. haven't we gone let's go back down this way so there's more down over here I'll handle this more money and stuff okay you better scout ahead could be traps Oh, there's something. What is that? Rusted copper construct. Very low damage with daggers. Yes. Very low damage with. Uh, yeah. That same with that. Is the top number our? All right. So the top number is that the chance to hit. So I have a 41% chance to hit him. Or is that 41% damage reduced? The bottom number is how much damage per hit I do on him. So this attack will do 130% of normal damage. Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Uh-oh. Okay, keep hitting him. These are constructs. They're probably not going to take much damage from anything. Your spells kind of suck right now. Go ahead and try to blind them. You go ahead and buff everyone. Okay, try to flank. Whoops. Okay, he's currently blind, which is good. Oh, 
Onward. He's almost dead, so just let him go. You have this will actually hit him pretty decently, so hit him. Good job. Now you hit that one. Go ahead and sworn enemy on this guy. Move here. Flank. Okay, now attack. Okay, you go ahead and try missiles again. You can go ahead and cast healing on us down here. Good job. And then now he's down. Hit chance is random roll out of 100 plus accuracy. Minus enemy deflect resulting number increase. Miss hit crit. Ah, that's a lot of that's a lot of information. What can I do you for? All right. Uh, can you explain it to me like I'm a two-year-old? That's a lot of info. Sword, balloon, pickaxe, dead body. What can I do you for? Uh huh. What can I do you for? What a weird expression. Because it feels good. I don't. So you can do me for. What can I do you for? Hmm. Chance to hits 50%, either you hit or you don't. I mean, there's logic there. else in here all right let's send a party back up here to this area this tomb over here Here rests Ex Exandros, most virtuous architect. I'm here. I'll help. Uh, plus 15 max health. <gasps> yes. Atraban and Tears. Give this to Look at this to her since it has religion. Look at this to him since it has intellect on it. It's perfect for him. Great fiction. So many people had amulets already. I, shall. Hmm? I love finding magic loot in these games. So we have down here. Uh, thank you for the bits. Uh, Seclues. Thank you very much. You can tell if Dan likes the enemy very much when he keeps missing them. Part of the statue near the legs has been forcibly removed. Praise the bold hearted Ervix, master of the blades. Memory of Sama, sister. Raka the Fortunate. Wait, are these Kickstarter backers? Dim in the lantern. <sighs> the ornate bronze fixture appears to be braziers. Soot uh, lines the interior of the metallic plates, and you spy fresh coal beneath the 
filigree grating. Someone light someone lit these recently. Had you the means, you might do the same. Lost flint and tender. Let's go ahead and make another save. I'll light it again. Oh. Is that all? I'll try not to get roasted. Nope. <laughs> um Have I seen these symbols somewhere before? That the shields here. Okay, so that symbol and that symbol. So this one. That one's last. So let's try. Indeed. Perfect. A little trial and error there. Gladiator sword, a one-handed sword. Ooh. Accuracy, penetration, scrim, quarter blade, minus one penetration. And a jade. Perfect. That is my weapon. Beautiful. I get it upgraded. Admiring my chef. All right, puzzle solved. Let's go this way. Collapsed hall, workspace. Yeah, we got that already. Menagerie, trial of flame. Uh, yeah, Penn. It's very similar to Baldur's Gate. That's what they were inspired by when they uh, made the game. That was the whole point of Pillars of Eternity was to make a game similar to uh, Baldur's Gate. Is that it? Did I explore everything there is to find down here? No, there's some up here. Looks like there's a little passage over here we didn't go into. Missing some stuff there and possibly something down here. Yeah? That's Odorisi. Hmm? Well, don't see why not. I'm Frozen mid stride, the grim figure is turned toward the colossal pillar of Adria that dominates the chamber. Uh, the ashen corpse uh, outstretched hand rests upon the crystal's dulled surface. Clutched tightly in the remnants of a fist is a bundle of papers bound together by a leather cord. Several pages are scattered on the ground at your feet. Oh, Dorisi was always a bit obsessive, but he was a good enough fellow. I hope this was quick, whatever it was. He leans forward as if to close the figure's eyes or smooth its features, uh, but merely clasps his hands with troubled frown. As you pull the papers free, the ashen fingers gripping them slow away, disintegrating into fine plumes of dust. Gain the quest item, Odorisi's notes. The item was put into your stash. Standing here by the lone figure, you are struck with a feeling of dread. The air around you is very motes of ash, ash and dust, and all of it stagnant and still. The feeling grows worse when you look up at the Adria and sense no energy flowing to its surface, as though you've been, it's been disconnected from the wheel.
You place your hand against the pillar of luminous Audra. A dim, warm light emanates from the surface, but it feels cool to the touch. Pinpricks dance along your fingers, uncomfortable, but not painful. A woman's voice, scratchy, distant, and halting, echoes in your mind. Find your soul in him. You concentrate, peering into the Audra's energy as you would peer into a soul. Its inner light is blinding, but as you become accustomed to it, you perceive the core of the Audra itself, a churning mass of millions of soul fragments. With a jolt, the energy reaches out to you. The Anguithin ruin fragments around you, breaking into incoherent shapes and dissolving to dust falling into an infinite well of dark grey vapor. Even the ground itself disintegrates into nothingness. All that remains is the murky expanse of the in-between. The Audra Pillar, and a skein of golden threads rooted in the pillar that extend far off into the distance. You focus on the threads. You catch glimpses of memories, your memories, mingled among the memories of thousands of other captive souls. The filaments begin to cohere, rapidly twining into a golden cord. With a muffled crack, the cord ripples outward in a violent wave toward the endless distance. The cord undulates over a space so vast that you lose sight of the wave before it finds its end. Then, a heavy creaking, like the sound of mountains shearing under their own weight, washes through the dull gloom of the in-between. A violent force yanks you along the cord at an incredible speed. The murk of the in-between warps erratically, as though you are observing it through an ill-ground lens. Just as quickly as you were pulled forward, you stop, suspended below a massive figure of ancient carved Audra. Like all Audra, it glimmers with energy, but the souls and memories within it are not flowing down. They churn in a vortex that burns at the heart of the statue's mass in some invisible engine. It is Aethys. The great golden cord terminates in his back, sending pulses of energy throughout his limbs as they move. He walks in long, slow strides toward a brilliant pillar of Audra far in the distance. It shines even more brightly in the in-between than Aethys. In between first to the shadow world that br the souls briefly wander after death on their way to the beyond. It's been described as a hazy landscape, empty but for the glow of other souls, Adria and Watchers. Space that Watchers peer into when they observe and speak to the lost souls and so soul fragments. Even the gods cannot reach it. From within the teeming throng of souls, Dozens of eyes look out to you. Through the cord, their collective anguish and despair push at the edge of your mind. Help us! Please! Help us! Their voices echo in your mind. Somewhere within their ranks, you can feel the presence of your own soul slumbering deeper in the gyre. Push past the lost souls to find your own soul. You attempt to evade the lost souls and find yourself within Aethys. But the incredible power flowing through the gods' body repulses you. Not even your Watcher powers can penetrate the massive tides of energy crashing through him. The souls sense your presence and continue to desperately cry out to you. Aethys' stride slows and stops. His head slowly pivots until its great burning eyes are cast back along the cord. As his gaze meets yours, you feel an overwhelming rush of incredible joy mingled with profound sadness. You have sensed similar anguish in lost souls, but never with this intensity. A soothing voice drifts into your mind. Known as Ashley. It takes great bravery to venture through the in-between. Even for a Watcher. A swell of admiration radiates out from the God's heart. 
A force so intense that it momentarily overwhelms you. You do not need to follow me, for their sake or your own. Something beautiful is coming. Something that will save us all. A great light shines from Aethys's brow. So bright that even the souls within him flinch from the source, cowering in fear. Through the glare, you see Aethys's massive arm reach up to grasp the Golden Cord. The tether carrying energy from the Audra Pillar to him that also suspends your consciousness. What does that mean? The sun will yet rise, Watcher. You need only wait for its light to come. Thank you for the very basic astrology lesson. Thank you. Aethys yanks on the golden cord, pulling it from his back. The cord tears into filaments that blacken and dissolve to dust. Without pause, he turns to resume his stride toward the distant pillar of Audra, shining on the boundless horizon. You hear the souls within him cry out for just a moment, before your consciousness is snapped away from them. The in-between goes dark. For a second, you feel a mix of nausea and a sensation like spinning and falling. Then the moment ends. Your consciousness has returned to the Anguithin Arena. The world is sideways, the Audra Pillar upside down. You flinch at the feeling that you're standing on the ceiling. The disorientation overwhelms you and you collapse to your knees next to the luminous Audra Pillar. Previously dim and flickering, the pillar now glows with a strong and steady light. You touch the Audra again, but the chill and prickling sensations you felt before are gone replaced with a comforting warmth, like the embers of a fire that has just lost its flame. Weird scene. Okay. As you return to the world, you feel a hand on your back. You all right? Come on, we just got you back. Yeah, I'm uh, fine. I heard you say that before. Had something to do with a 2,000-year-old lunatic talking to you in your dreams. I've seen you commune with souls of the dead, but this looked altogether different. What happened? His gaze flickers to the brightly glowing Adra. Thousands of suffering souls were trapped with Neothis. It's powerless to help them. I don't believe the god of rebirth wishes souls to suffer. If he's harvesting them, he's got a plan. What did Gon say? Is he gonna meet us? What do we do next? He charged you with a divine calling, didn't he? Just like he's done for me. Uh. He's after Luminous Adra, and we're gonna stop him before he gets there. How hard can it be to find in a chain of thousands of islands? I wonder what he's after, and why he's been giving me these dreams. The things I've seen, they leave a mark on your soul. I may not know what Gon's got planned for me, but clearly he wanted me to meet you. What's she doing with that lantern? Praise gone indeed. New subscriber. Thank you for subbing. I stick butter up my nose. Thank you for the sub. Uh, why would you do that? Thank you, Jadane June, Shagath, Lipic, Kidamasher, Medic, Lake Ligand, Digit, Net Net. Thank you for the resubs, guys, as well. Uh, the fog of war makes sense, Ash Candy, because you can't see what's over there. Sometimes things change when you're not looking at it something. So the fog of war makes sense in this game. 
All right, so we found that, that. Went in there, got that. Do I fully explore down here? Yep. I think we're done with this place now. I think we got all the things. Yeah, Chad always has some crazy names. Yeah, that's a my poop touched my balls once was a interesting name. And Dr. Poopy Pants. If, if a doctor came in and called Dr. Poopy Pants, I'd be like, yeah, I think I'm going to find someone else. I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I don't need you right now. Dr. Poopy Pants. As the souls move past you, some turn their head in your direction, but most seem fixated below you on the Adria pillar beneath your feet. A few nods, their a few nod their heads and thanks, or give a hand to acknowledge your acknowledge your presence. What do you see that I can't, Watcher? Uh. Oh, nothing really. I just saved countless souls by reilluminating the Adria pillar. You've now done more in a few hours than some harvesters manage their whole lives. When she turns her eyes to you, they're full of admiration. Aloth nods, a quiet smile etched on his lips. A small group of souls start to cluster around you. One of them is standing a bit closer than the others and gestures for your attention. Watcher, we'd like to come with you. Why don't you just go into the Atra Pillar? We would, and we appreciate that you showed us the way, but... What if the Audra goes dark again before we reach the beyond? The other souls shuffle anxiously and look to each other, then back to you. Very well, follow me. Can I harvest the souls now? Uh, yes, of course. Thank you for aiding my mission, Watcher. I just knew you'd help me if I followed you. Aleth nods a quiet smile. Zadi glides her hands in a series of motion that resembles martial art or intricate dance as she sl slides a circle of around the area she begins swinging her lantern faster and faster farther from her body until it, the inferior light flares from inside the lure is unanswered and several souls change course drifting past the lantern's case to disappear thank you watcher so her lantern doesn't do shit We will remain here to see to our dead. New subscriber. Of course. But, uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll take this. Uh, my poop touched my tip once. <sighs> Thank you for subbing. I appreciate that. But I must take stock of our supplies. Ancient training hall, training hall, performance quarters, footprint, footprint. A sub is a sub, that's true. Just like a lot of uh, male porn actors are like, ten dollars is ten dollars. I'll take it. New subscriber. Yeah, a lot of the critical role people voice this game. Uh, Raxor, thank you for the prime sub because they're cheap. Relatively. Let's go back. Let's go back to the port Maja and turn in that quest. Maybe that's the next thing we need to do. I can't wait till we can actually go sailing. 
in the sh in the uh, sea finally. Well, I don't watch Critical Role, so uh, it doesn't sound like them to me. So it's, it just sound like other people. And I'm like, hell yeah. What can I do for you? I have information for you about the dig site. At last, Belfetto, tell me, please, what has happened? How much have we lost? I must, I must know. I saw the same destruction Euthus wrecked on Sedina. That Siri is dead along with most of your animancers. I... I see. And the work? Odorisi's notes? Was there nothing of his research? I found these. You did? Gods be kind. Uh, Clario takes the bundle notes with you in barely restrained urgency. The moment she's flipping through the papers, his eyes sweeping back and forth across the pages. Belfetto, Belfetto, we are saved. <clears throat> Clara lets out a relieved, almost giddy laugh, looking up, up at you with a toothy grin. A grin he hides soon after, beneath a cough and look of some regret. That is, Odorisi's legacy is not wholly lost. I like to believe the man would find that pleasing. He folds the papers once again and sets his hands over them protectively. You say this is all the work of the Titan, of uh, Aeothis, and you still insist on looking for him? He destroyed your ship, killed my people. Would it not make more sense to sail to the far side of the world and away from all this? I do not turn away from my duty. I am the Paladin. No, that much has been made very plain to me. So be it. Clara, I need your help. If this is looking for Aedra pillars like the ones in the arena. It would explain why the giant went for the dig site rather than attack us in the town, wouldn't it? Clara sets a hand to his stomach. The other, he pulls out a handkerchief from his pocket to mop his brow. Merla, he will ravage every outpost in the dead fire. That Adra is why we are here, why everyone is here in truth. The Valian Trading Company, the Royal Deadfire Company, countless mercenaries. Murder. You'll want to go to Nekataka. Queen Onekaza II rules there at the Kahanga Palace. Anyone seeking to do business in the Deadfire Archipelago must negotiate with her first. The Queen knows every other vein of worth in the Deadfire. I'm certain she can help you. That is, if she agrees to see you at all. Who are the Kengaka? The most powerful tribe in the region, now that Onikaza II has united a host of them under her rule. Ikawa would disagree, but then Ikawa contents herself with a spit of land and a handful of followers. You promised to help me. I have not forgotten. We will get you to Nekataka, and for that, you need your ship. I'll arrange it with Ekawa. Between the two of us, I'm certain we can gather the workers we need. Head down to the beach once you are ready to depart. Thank you for your help. Bompiaco, it is only right. After all you have done for me. I won't keep you further. You have a long and very strange journey ahead. Some advice. After you have had your audience with the Queen, seek out the Valian Trading Company. They make their headquarters in Nekataka, and the company always appreciates good help. Level up! Let's go athletics for the heal. 